Hi and welcome everybody. Welcome to a new episode of Fresh Jazzy Sounds. This time I have a surprise for you. I have an extra fresh episode as I received a test pressing of a record that has not yet been released. But first, let's put the needle in the groove. And sample some great new jazz releases. And we start off with Kiprom Birhan. I hope that's the way you pronounce his name. He's from Ethiopia, Africa, and he's really connecting the dots between the past, the, the, the current times, but also as he is from Ethiopia, you get a little bit that that mixture of, of uh, jazz with a certain groove. You go a little bit in the funk direction with Afrobeat. You also get a little bit of UK jazz. Uh, he plays the keys, the organ, the Willitzer on this album. He had a lot of guest appearances and maybe because the album is by an artist that is mixing different styles that it sounds very fresh with his background because he truly made something unique and I think this record will be in the top of a lot of people's 2022 list of greatest albums released. great how much music is released from all over the world and if you look for it you can find some really gems and the same is true for this album it is from an Australian band called the Psychedelic Freaks and that already shows a little bit we're going more in a psychedelic vibe although I must exaggerate it is not really uh, psychedelic it, it has influences but it is for the most part a jazzy album it has a groove, it has uh, a lot of uh, great tracks on it that are just a little bit different, they sound different. So it's the psychedelic freaks with passing through the doorway of your mind. And that is in a sense also the cover art choices a little bit. It's different, but if you open up to it, you're getting a great listening experience. This sample especially really in essence shows the whole album. You get a, a unique mix of jazz vibes with psychedelic grooves which really makes it a fun listen as I said. Now something exciting. I got this in the mail. It says unknown top secret. Uh, it is a test pressing of a Dutch band. It's their debut album. Um, they were so kind to send it to me. Um, I can tell a little bit about it. Uh, it will be released officially at the end of December. Let me first sample it. I'm allowed to sample a little bits of it. So what you're getting is a debut album by Bo uh, Boris and Tristan, I believe. Uh, Boris plays the drums, the keys, and Tristan plays the bass. They have a lot of guest appearances on the album where there's addition of horns and guitars. They're really moving in the area of jazz funk. And I'm excited to see that in the Netherlands this kind of music is being made. 
Uh, you have of course the UK jazz scene, but now you're seeing also in Holland that there's if young guys who are really making this kind of music where you have a lot of uh, roads, uh, you have that, that, that more funky side of jazz. I like it very much, so I'm happy that I can share this with you. Uh, when it's officially released, I will talk a little bit more about it. And I will download sample the next song a little bit. I can't give away too much, but um, on the other side on the label it says SKOW. That are the initials of the name of the album. Um, as I said, next time I will show more of this album. And now we move, because in the Netherlands you had of course a jazz scene, but you never had that really funky side of jazz. And that's why this next album is such a surprise. It is uh, from 1972, Norway, Septet Frans Elsen featuring Piet Noordijk. Uh, Frans Elsen, as you can see on the cover, plays the roads. Uh, Piet Noordijk plays the saxophone. And this is released by the Dutch Jazz Archive, which are old live recordings from the radio, or recorded in radio st uh, studios. And they are unique in the sense it's never been released and sometimes you wonder why. Why has this never been released? Because the music is so good. And most probably because there was no audience for it. And that's, I think, what is the main reason this music never got played that much on the radio or was even released. But the jazz archive, the Dutch jazz archive, really did an amazing job. First, finding the recordings and putting it on vinyl, of course, is the second biggest step. And I hope you, if you like Rhodes, you will certainly like this album. Especially, it's a double album, but especially uh, the first disc. There is some amazing playing. It is recorded from different sessions. So what I'm playing now is from a radio station NCRV uh, 72, but there are also live recordings from 73 and I think even 74 which are all combined on this disc. And now I want to play the single or the first track, Ringebu, which is just amazing. beat an album with so much roads on it. As you can hear, it's quite a big orchestra. But this thing grooves amazingly. Now we're really changing the mood a little bit. This is an album by Ur. I hope that's also the way you pronounce it, because I'm great at butchering names. Let me first sample it. It's uh, called I don't know how you, it's from Norway, so yeah, Ur, I think that's the way you pronounce it. Um, you know this band, they did before Coastal County, maybe you remember, um, that was done by Lars and Thomas. They've done also this album, and they changed their name because it's a completely different sound. Uh, Coastal County was much more jazz funk, this is more an ambient album, but ambient in a special way. Um, I must say, the first time I played it, I got in my mind that I was in the movie Aliens. 
that's how it sounds. It is like the party landed on the planet. They're discovering the landscape. It is a foreign landscape, a strange landscape. There is a darkness. There is danger in every corner. You have to be careful. And, and the music really transpires that. And if you give this a listen at night, it will even make you a little bit scary because there are some really dark tones and that is the combination of analog synths of course combined with other recordings and you get something unique and the first track on the album is Artikel Artipel and that I hope that transpires the feel of that alien that I got because that's the first track on the album and that really sends you in a certain mood. to listen to and check out because it will I really I feel like in caverns and you're moving around and you're looking at your scanner to see alien life form because that is what you expect this thing really as it is made on a different planet now we're going back to the more smoother sound of jazz with a linguist he released this album uh, I think officially it is a record store day release, but then a record store to release early this year. I completely missed it. Uh, sometimes you have that. You go through the bins, uh, you see that an album has been released way before. Uh, it says Record Store Day. I think nobody picked it up for some reason. Um, by the meantime, it has been much more popular. And it has been repressed and I think it is even going to be repressed for a third time. A. Lundqvist sounds also Norwegian, uh, he is not, he's from uh, LA, the US. He made this album by himself, the producer, playing the keyboards, the sampling, the drums. And what you are getting is it's an album typical of this time. Uh, this shows what you can do if you're musical, uh, creative, uh, you have a lot of freedom in the music and still you get that warm sound. again to Scandinavia this time and also a colored vinyl I'm not a big fan of colored vinyl but this one is yellow it's a repress uh, like the last one I kind of missed the original release it's from Sweden Din Ögen I think that translates to your eyes this is a little bit of a strange album I don't know if you can hear it from the sample in a sense, it sounds a little bit Turkish. On the other hand, it is sung in Swedish. And you really get that typical where the Swedes, if they produce a pop album and they're in the right groove, it is so beautiful in the melody. It really grabs you. And 
this is true for this one. This album is mixing the kind of pop groove of ABBA. If I can mix it to the 70s, there's a certain 70s vibe to this album. But you also get that more modern sound of Kudang Bin, where you have that Eastern influences. This album is filled with these kind of songs. So if you like Kudang Bin, uh, Autumn Goon, you get similar vibe, maybe a little bit more groovy, but it's special. It is more on the pop side as the jazzy side, but I think you will like it. This is what we are calling beautiful sound just for the afternoon. Sunday music, a very sunny vibe, sun kissed I believe is the term. And by the way, it's completely in Swedish as I said, but if you want to learn dirty Swedish word, in my last episode of Boobalicious album covers, I played the Swedish album Belinda. That's the album to learn Swedish words. Thank you for watching, see you next time.